Oh, you do have four. Well, I don't. We're having a traffic jam here. So. Well, fortunately, I brought my own coffee from this morning, but, you know, I... <laughs> don't give me that. That's water in there, right? I hope so. <laughs> if not, it's damn weak. <laughs> That's damn weak, but there's no Robusta. <laughs> Well, I'm getting uh, low-key with, I guess you could call it balanced, but it doesn't have a lot to balance, but it is balanced. I have a, a cupping friend who used to call a coffee like this a lazy cup. A lazy cup. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, doesn't do a lot, but it doesn't offend. It just sort of lays on the couch and waits for you to drink it. I'm getting uh, a kind of nut, but a little livelier than the 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. This is a little bit of caramel. Definitely getting caramel. The sweet top notes, very, not very uh, prominent, but I guess there's some, some flowers in there. I'm getting a lot of wood. It's hard to tell, hard to distinguish persuasively when you're cupping between wood and nut sometimes. Because nut tend to have a kind of, uh, unless they're very distinctive nuts, a little bit of a wood character. But I think the, the wood notes are livelier than in the eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe fur. Maybe fur, fur that's been like sitting a, yes. around in the yeah. lumber yard a little bit, yeah. but nevertheless, not like uh, old dead boards. But of course, the old dead boards is because the eight o'clock was uh, terminally stale. So, uh, <laughs> It's staleness, right? Staleness. This is, is, yeah. Yeah, this is not. No. It's not exactly a lively aroma that leaps out of the cup either. It's not number one. That's about all I get yeah. in the nose. Well, some nut, some wood. The nut's a please, pleasant nut. I'm not getting any rubber. Little hint of flower, flowers. There could be a kind of a citrus, like lime, maybe a kind of a raisin too or, or dried fruit of some kind maybe prunes actually and somewhere in there you could probably find chocolate along with the prunes well yeah i don't know that anybody's ever ever marketed chocolate covered prunes <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> there's an idea keep that on the editing floor pat <laughs> ken and i are going to go into business <laughs> you get salt I'm getting a salt right here. away and just so everyone knows so, neither of us ever i could speak for myself for sure on this i never use salt i know some people are <laughs> advocate putting salt in your uh, brewing basket i would never do such a thing well the claim of course is you put salt and it increases sweetness yeah but i think <laughs> when there's a kind of intrinsic salt where uh, it may not be literally sodium but uh, something that tastes like, resembles salt. It's uh, usually not a good sign because coffees pick that, that note up in the processing. It's typically a poorly processed, dry processed coffee that gets those salty yeah. notes. And a lot of natural or, or a poor quality dried in the fruit coffee in here, I think. Arabica probably, I don't. Really, it could have some Robusta, but I'm not particularly getting it. I get I'm not getting that. Poor quality Arabica. It has a kind of sweetness. The, the finish is not offensive, not attractive, not offensive. <laughs> Mildly astringent, my, a little bit sweet finish. Salty fruit, you know? Maybe uh, plums with salt on them. I know Japanese have salty plum. They have a kind of a very aggressive extreme taste. This does not. I'm picking a kind of a plummy fruit coupled with a, a salt. You know, as the cup cools, I was hoping for more, and I'm not getting it. No, no, it's just sort of standing pat. The mouthfeel is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the viscosity is there. And, and it's not uh, obnoxious. It's just 
No, there's nothing r that would stop me. It I'm just, not stopping me. <laughs> it's just... It's just lazy. There's nothing that... No incentive, though, either, except it's hot and has <laughs> caffeine and and uh, associates with positive memories of better coffees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of the best damning with faint praise comments I've heard. <laughs> well, it is. I mean, you know, we're the, the ritual of drinking coffee is, we're, if you're a coffee drinker, it's intrinsically pleasurable, and uh, it may even be stimulating if, if there's no caffeine, because we associate with stimulation. And, uh, at least I do. I associate it with all good things. Consolation. Yeah, <laughs> consolations in the morning when I don't want to go anywhere. Or get... <laughs> yeah. uh, all of that is an important part of coffee, that we all know. But this taste, I'm afraid that I'd probably drink it <laughs> without much pleasure. What is it? This is actually one of my favorite Lazy Cups. Well, this surprises me because me I've had some very nice coffees at Dunkin' Donuts. Yes, I have too. Maybe it's that I've been needy when I've gone into Dunkin' <laughs> because there uh, isn't someplace else that I like better to I, go to. But I certainly have had some pleasant cups. And I think also, you know, it's an international brand. When I was in Korea, it was considered a premium coffee. Oh, yes. Went in a couple Dunkins in uh, in Seoul and they were good the coffee was good I don't know whether it was just because I don't know I it could have been just my mood that I was having an interesting time in Korea and therefore this coffee was good but I don't think so I think it was better than this you know the people who do the Duncan coffee that I used to do it at any rate were were very good very outstanding coffee who did the blend design yeah. and the yeah, testing and the quality control, but uh, I think they sort of missed it here. Oh, uh, let's get the oxygen. Well, oh, yeah, Jason's yeah, please, uh, Jason. 4%. 4% on yeah. this? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that's, that's uh, all right. When I used to do quality control for a large and uh, famous company, not Starbucks, well, it was produced by... Uh, a uh, arm of Coca-Cola. So oh, you could okay. say Coca-Cola I think I can is more famous even than yeah. Starbucks. Yes, they are. But, uh, I think I'm more right but it wasn't an official Coca-Cola brand. Sure. It was a sub-brand of Coca-Cola. Something they owned, yeah. Any, uh, when we did the, the quality control, 4%, oh, percent. that was our uh, spec. It couldn't be over 4%. We arrived at that number through, through a certain number of studies and, and industry practices. So 4% should be okay. It's not as good as zero, but, but I think what that means is I don't think we can blame staling on this no, coffee. No, it's not staling. It's uh, intrinsically dull. Here, I found oh. what I was looking for. Best if used by May 25th, 2025. That's a year out. It has to be. I got this in a retail store a week or so ago. This had to be roasted May, I'm guessing May 25th, 2024. If it's a year, they're promising a lot. Not good. Not good. Not no, good. they're that's promising good. a lot with with four percent oxygen in the package. That's not going to happen. And uh, it's not going to get better. That's no. for sure. It's and Best it's Buy right probably now. Going to get much worse. Best Buy it's as soon as possible. Probably. I'm not too happy about this. I also know that at one time I would have called Dunkin' Donuts, and I my tastes have changed, of course. But I would call have called Dunkin' Donuts one of the one of the best of this type of coffee and uh, that's not yeah. what i'm tasting no i've had uh, <laughs> i've had very nice lively light footed um, yeah. appealing with a nice little sweetness and little low-key acidity that's what i associate with with duncan and this yeah. is not it this no. is sort of stolid low toned not seductive at all no, and I wish I could blame it on the four percent, but it's not. That's not bad enough. You know, it's not quite bad enough. To of course, uh, I don't know. I'm not uh, up with all of the research on these issues. Nobody is because companies are not disclosing. No, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and the Specialty <laughs> Coffee Association isn't doing its job by large companies, perhaps. But at any rate. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah. But you know, it's. Uh, I'm disappointed when I see the the brand because I associate something better with the brand. If you figure it's just another supermarket coffee, it's not bad. Just kind of lazy. But it's well, going to be it's pretty dead. It's not supposed dead. to be that. I would say it's going yeah. to be pretty dead by the time it's uh, if somebody buys it just before it expires. But. Dunkin' Donuts coffee is known, I think, as as the coffee that many Americans at least hold up in in defiance of Starbucks, and they'll say, "Oh, I don't like dark roast," and they'll use right, Dunkin' Donuts right. as proof of that. And I I think Dunkin' Donuts is a, is a great coffee and. You know, of course, I, I like a lot of smaller roasters better than either of them, but generally, but I would say, hey, at least it, it deserved that position. This, this, the coffee we're having today does not deserve that position, and I'm going to vote accordingly in a few minutes. <laughs> vote with my feet. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a very good point, that, uh, that Duncan, uh, there's a... Uh, cohort of consumers who are very loyal to Dunkin' and would work, walk right by a Starbucks uh, to get their Dunkin' Donuts coffee. And certainly when I'm in a strange place and I see a Dunkin', I think, well, I'm going to get a decent cup. So disappointing. I mean, that doesn't mean that all Dunkin' Donuts coffee is like this cup, but it does a bad sign in the sense that the brand is on the bag and it's uh, no, I, just kind of a half dead and lazy. Ken, I'd like to find out about this. I will look into it. This coffee, I've been told that the supermarket coffees are done by multiple roasters that you know, to, to spec and that in the shops themselves, I can tell you the packaging is very different than this. So I don't know if that tells us anything, but I, I'm inclined to think that I've had some Dunkin' Donuts coffee within the last two years that I thought tasted sig significantly better than this. So, but I did not buy, I, I, I went out of my way to buy all of the coffees we're having today at supermarkets. Yeah, so what you're, you're implying is that uh, the coffee in the Dunkin' Donuts shops is better than the coffee uh, being sold in supermarkets under the Duncan label. That's quite possible. It could be, yeah. it could be, but that's that's also very tricky and that's a hard one to, you know. I want to be able to yeah. give people some some advice they can use. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.